Hi folks, Steve here. This is a companion video to my How to Make an Amplifier for a Crystal Radio Earpiece video. In that video I gave a diagram, showed you how to use a breadboard, and then talked about using the diagram to fill in the breadboard with all the parts. But some of you asked that I show you all the individual connections being made. So that's what I'll do in this video. Of course we'll still need a diagram, so I've made this useful one to follow. And just so we're using the same terminology, on a breadboard these are called rows. The other direction are called columns. Probably the best way to start is to notice that there are a lot of connections being made to ground. That's probably a good starting place. Since we have so many ground connections, I'm going to go to the middle of my breadboard, in my case around row 20 here, and connect two of these smaller rows together to make one longer row. And all the ground connections will go in there. We we'll call this wire a jumper wire. first part we'll plug in is the 82 kilo ohm resistor. We'll just plug one end in for now, and that goes in the ground row. And the same for the 0 .001 microfarad capacitor. Plug one end into the ground row. And leave the other end unplugged. Next up is the 10 microfarad capacitor, which is likely an electrolytic capacitor uh, because of its large uh, capacitance. We'll put the negative in the um, ground row right here. And the positive we'll put about uh, four holes away, so three holes between them. Next up is the 100 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, plug one end into the same uh, into the same row as the positive of the electrolytic capacitor, the 10 microfarad capacitor, and plug the other end uh, about three holes away, so there's two between them. I'm using the pliers because my wires are so thick. Next, take the 10 mega ohm resistor and plug one end into uh, a column beside the resistor you just plugged in, and then the other end, again, about uh, two holes, three holes away, so there's two holes between them. Next up is the transistor. Spread the legs out apart. Um, this is the collector, this is the base, this is the emitter. So the collector will go in the um, a column next in this row right here, where these two resistors have both have connections. Um, the base will go in this row here, where this resistor has a connection and the emitter over here somewhere. Next we have to connect the emitter of the transistor to the ground row. So I just get a wire here. That end will go next to the emitter and the other end will go in the ground row. Like that. Next up are our 1 microfarad capacitors. And I've just uh, scrunched them up like this. And one of them, one of the legs, goes in a row where you have the two resistors have a common connections here. And the other leg just goes on the other side over here in another row. Next one has one connection over here in the uh, same row as the base of the transistor, and the other connection is just in a row on the other side. Okay, so now we can connect up the 82 kilo ohm resistor and the 0 0.001 microfarad capacitor. They go in the same row as this leg of this one microfarad capacitor we just put in. One thing you do have to be careful is that the leg of this other capacitor, the previous one we put in, um, the first one microfarad one, doesn't come in electrical contact with this leg of the, the 0 0.001 microfarad capacitor. So be careful of that. Now put in the 82 kilo ohm resistor. Right beside that one. Okay, so there's my crystal radio, and now I've got to connect it in. This right here is the ground uh, connection for my crystal radio, and I have to connect a wire to my ground roll. Um, so I've got a long wire here, and I'm just going to twist it onto my ground connection over here. And I left one space over here on the end of the ground row, and I'll just plug into there. Make sure you get the right one. I always get the wrong one. There we go, <laughs> like I was about to do. 
Okay, the crystal radio's diode is over here, and this is the end that has nothing connected to it. I have to connect that over here. So first I'll twist a piece of wire to this end. Put a clip on there to make it good. Now where it goes is at the very end here where the 82, in the same row with the 82 uh, kilo ohm resistor, the 0 0.001 microfarad capacitor, and the 10 microfarad capacitor. Sorry, the 1 microfarad capacitor. Very last row over here. Next up are the ear, is the earpiece. Um, the earpiece has very flimsy wire, so I've attached some uh, stiffer wire to the end here, some solid wire. And the, uh, the black is going to go into the remaining hole over here in the ground row. Right there, just beside the 0.001 microfarad capacitor and the 82 kilo ohm uh, resistor. The red, in other words, just the other one, the colors don't really matter. There's no polarity to it. Um, the, this one microfarad capacitor here is in back here and it's in a row all by itself. So I'm going to be plugging into that row. Next up is the 9 volt battery. What I've done is I've got some alligator clips here and I've uh, just uh, connected on some stiff solid wire there. I'm going to take the black one or negative and plug it into the ground row. That. And then the red one or positive, and that goes in the same row where the um, the 10 microfarad capacitor's positive is. Okay, so now to try it out, I'll connect the black uh, alligator clip to the negative of the battery, red to the positive. I'll just put the um, earpiece in this camera microphone. Ah, nice and clear. Works great. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my YouTube channel, Rimstar Org, for more videos like this. That includes the original one on making this amplifier, which has a few more details, such as a little on how it works, as well as a regular circuit diagram. There's also the video on how to make this particular crystal radio, and one on crystal radio troubleshooting and tips. And don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos, and give a thumbs up, or leave a question or comment below. See you in a bit.